think I Put got like 10 new stuff. credit cards that year. Oh, oh sure. wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and that all, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's weird when you actually look at the way that we like funded the business because the first summer, which was like just pop-up shops and online store and quitting our jobs, like I think I maxed out my last credit card just trying to like pay for stuff for no baked and then just paying our bills because yeah. obviously we still had to pay rent and like eat right, food. Right. And then we just had this really cool time like getting the first store open where we didn't have enough money for a contractor, but Megan was able to take out all these credit cards and I was able to convince my dad to come help me like build wow. part of the store. And it was just this really cool like seven week period where we found this old restaurant we redid like the bar that used to be like a cocktail bar into a cookie dough bar. It was this old house. So we like painted it white and tried to make it look cool. Yeah. I was very yeah. stubborn at the time. I was like, I'm not taking money from anybody. We will do this ourselves. I have good credit. Let's just get everything we can. How much debt did you guys get into? Enough. It wasn't so much. It was probably like 35 or 40 grand. Yeah. And then we paid all of that off in the first month of having that store open. Oh, wow. That The store killed it. Was it stressful? Oh, yeah. maxing out credit cards at the time yeah i, I want to say yes but there were we went back and did it again you saw it yeah I was three, three say, months later not you knew stressful what it meant. enough for us to be like yeah. we shouldn't be doing i this. mean we were 23 and really yeah i don't want to say dumb but just naive yeah. yeah so like we went back we were like this store did really well this is like a month and a half in we're like we're bored let's build another store yeah. which is probably not the best idea it ended up working out yeah. but like we went in doubled down we actually paid for a firm to come in and like help us with like franchise documents mm -hmm. so we got like a law firm for franchising paid for that paid for some operations consultants to help us make like an ops manual and then built the louisville store and maxed all our credit cards out again and this is like february of 2018 so like the business isn't even a year old <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we were like, we're just all in. And then that one all did even better than the first one. And so then we got the mindset, well, we can't do anything wrong. You know, like we must be amazing at this. We know what we're doing. <laughs> like this is flawless. Right, right, right. Which is obviously not true. Yeah. Probably with any business, but that was us at the time. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs>